What I have to show you is quick and simple. If you are making instructional videos, there are two things you've got to do. The first is to take your time during screen recordings while you're showing your viewer how to do something on a virtual whiteboard, presentation, or application. The second is to overlay video of your face as you do it. Let's talk about screen recordings first. This is a tutorial, so I'm going to show you how to set up screen recordings on an iPhone, iPad, and computer. But before I do that, I'd like to take just a moment to remind you to always take your time when you're doing a screen recording. Explain every step and leave a link or instructions in the description for your video, like I'm doing right here. This is probably going to feel too slow for you, but it won't feel too slow for your viewers who are trying to follow along as you go. Also, as long as you do the second thing I'm showing you in this tutorial and overlay a video of your face, you're not going to lose the attention of your viewers. Let me show you how to set up a screen recording. First, you need to have a setup where you can record a video of yourself. Let me show you my setup. I probably have a few things that you might not have, like the lights and the studio microphone. If you're interested in those things or would just like to see how they compare with not having them, go ahead and check out my instructional video tips. As you can see, I'm set up to record my face, have access to my computer, and record my audio in a mic. I'd like to show you how to set up a screen recording on a Mac computer. This is going to be a little tricky though because I can't screen record myself setting up a screen recording. So what I'll do is I'll use my iPhone camera to show you what's on my screen. What I've done is I started by opening up QuickTime. QuickTime is already open because I'm using it to record audio. So if I wanted to set up a screen recording, I would go to File, New Screen Recording, and you'll see I get some options down here. This is where I can set up the microphone that I want to use. So right now I'm using my external microphone. And I can select if I want to record a portion of the screen or the entire screen. So right now I've got my selector, the little dotted line around the entire screen. Uh, but if I wanted to, I could drag it to focus on a smaller portion of the screen. And when I'm all done, click record. The procedure for setting up a screen recording on an iPhone or an iPad is the same, so I'll just show you both side by side. First, open up settings. Then look for control center. Tap on customize controls. And in the list in the bottom, you'll see screen recordings. I've already added mine, so tap the plus symbol to have it appear up above. Once you've added screen recording, anywhere in your iPhone or your iPad, you can start a screen recording by opening the control center and tapping on the little record icon, circle with a dot inside. And of course, mine is already recording, so I'll just turn mine off. It'll save the screen recording to your photos, and from there, you can export it or airdrop it to your computer where you do your editing. Once you have your screen recording set up, make sure to start recording on the camera that's recording you and the mic if you're recording audio separately. So when you're all done, you're going to have three files, the video of yourself, the audio file, and the screen recording. I'm now going to show you how to bring those all together into one video using iMovie. This video assumes you already have a basic knowledge of how to use iMovie, like setting up a project and splitting video clips and audio clips. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you are making an instructional video, it is going to be so much more engaging if the viewer can see your face while you're doing the explaining. It is worth the very little bit of effort it takes to add in that extra touch and it'll make your videos so much more successful, so much more interesting for whoever you're targeting. Now I'm actually going to show you through a screen recording how I edit the footage of my screen recording. So if that doesn't blow your mind, I don't even know. All right, so here we are where I need to start adding the footage from screen recording. So we're going to do the footage with the iPhone and the iPad. For now, I'm going to start just with the iPad. 
Let me send that file over from my iPad. And I will accept it. We'll drag that file into my movie file. And then I'm going to take the file from the video. So I called it screen recording video. I'll drag that and I'll put it in on top. Before I add the audio from the microphone, I just want to align the two videos together. So to do this, I'll click on the one on top, the video of me, and I'll select picture in picture. This option can be found in video overlay settings. Once it's a picture in picture, you can drag it around. place it where you want it. And now I'm going to look for the part in the video where I say that I'm going to open up the settings. I'm going to drag the video where it needs to be so that my spoken cues align with what I'm doing on the iPad. Okay, control center. It's a little after that. You want to open up your settings. Boom. And find the control center. There's control center. Okay. Now with the iPad, you can see that it's clipping off on the sides. That's because of the um, that's because of the dimensions of the screen. So I'm going to select uh, fit. That's going to give me black bars on the side of my video, but at least we'll be able to see the entire iPad screen. In my case, I'm going to put the iPhone video on the side, so that's okay with me. We'll click on. Uh, the check mark to verify that that's how I want it. You want to open up your settings and find the control center. There we go. So now I've got my uh, my video embedded on top of the screen recording. Lastly, I want to take the better microphone recording and put it on top of this audio. So first what I'll do is I'll detach the audio from the video. To detach audio, just right click or two fingers click and say detach audio. Then in your finder, let's find the screen recording audio. That's what I called it. We'll slide it in on top. And what I want to do is visually align these peaks in the audio so that they are on top of each other. And that is probably right. So I'm going to play it just to make sure there's no echo. There's a little bit of an echo. I think I need to slide over a little bit to the left. That's almost perfect. Now I'll delete the poor quality audio. And now I've got the microphone audio on top. To set up screen recording on an iPhone or an nice. All right, so I'm going to take a few extra steps to add the iPhone image on top of that, and then I'm going to put the video of myself as I do screen sharing with the laptop. So I've got a few more steps ahead of me, but you can see that for most everyday use, if you just want to have an app open and talk about that, maybe have some instruction, a PowerPoint slide, a little um, whiteboard app. It's not too many steps to put your face on top of the app use. I hope this video was useful to you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you have questions about. My name is Ben and I have a YouTube channel about innovation. Sometimes I like talking about technology, other times I like talking about education, and then of course I like talking about how technology can be used in education, such as in videos like this. If that sort of thing interests you, please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.